There are no legal shortcuts to a second independence referendum and Nicola Sturgeon's mandate for one is legally irrelevant, two leading academics have said. Writing for the UK Constitutional Law Association, the pair said trying to hold a referendum without the UK government's cooperation would be a non-starter. However they said SNP MPs and supporters of independence did have a variety of other tactics available to maintain pressure to find a political solution. Unpalatable as it may be to some nationalists that the exercise of Scottish self-determination depends on Westminster's cooperation, it is hard to avoid the conclusion that this is necessary, they said. The article, by Strathclyde University senior public law lecturer Chris McCorkindale and Durham University public law professor Aileen McHarg, comes amid a standoff between the UK and Scottish governments over in Diaf II. Nicola Sturgeon has formally asked the Prime Minister to give Holyrood be given the power to hold another referendum, citing SNP's gains in the election as evidence of her mandate. However Boris Johnson is expected to refuse within days, with Scottish Secretary Alistair Jack saying on Sunday that not even the SNP winning an outright majority at Holyrood in 2021 would cause the UK government to change its position. In a blog for the UCLA titled Constitutional Pathways to a Second Scottish Independence Referendum, Mr. McCorkindale and Professor McCarg consider Ms. Sturgeon's options. The First Minister has often suggested she has a plan for overcoming a UK government refusal, but has so far refused to share it. The academics say her options for achieving international recognition for an independent Scotland without the UK government's agreement are in fact almost non-existent. They say that there is little chance of success with a unilateral declaration of independence, a legal challenge, a wildcat referendum, or a plan B based on a big SNP election win. Instead, they stress the need for the Scottish and UK governments agreeing on a referendum process, something that ultimately comes down to politics. They write, if a second independence referendum is to take place and be effective as a means of achieving independence it is therefore crucial that it be conducted on a proper legal footing, that is, that the rules it sets out providing for the organisation of a poll and regulating the conduct of the referendum campaign are legally valid and hence binding on those to whom they apply. Attempting to proceed with a referendum without such a legislative underpinning would be a non-starter given that it would depend upon the cooperation of Scotland's 32 local authorities in organising the vote, none of which is under majority SNP control, and would almost certainly be boycotted by unionists. Any attempt to legislate for more on this story, visit the news article link.